Hi everybody! Welcome to Terminus Live! We're back on camera again. Um, I'm Corey Domino, as always, and this is... I'm the walrus. Pubert Applebaum. <laughs> <laughs> the walrus. It's only my Google stage name. Oh, so, well, this is, is this not a stage? No, this is a couch. Ah, touche. I'm and, Dylan. <laughs> and this is and Ian. And with us hey. yeah, is our, yeah. our guest, Ian. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and tell uh, us a little about yourself? I'm Ian Simpson. I, um, I'm an assistant location manager. The, um, the funnest job. The most fun job. I mean, I, maybe, I'm not sure if it's the most fun job, but it's a lot of fun because um, I get to see the whole process from pre-production to uh, till the end of production. So when it goes into post is usually when I... Let go of it and let the powers that be. You're, you're typically the first one there and the last to leave, though, yeah? Yeah. Um, so, basically, my job is to be the first person there to set up the location for um, for the production company to come in. And that might be anywhere from, like, three days in advance to weeks or months in advance, depending on what you have to do there. And then you take care of everybody while they're there, keep them comfortable, get all the departments what they need. Um in terms of location wise if they need like um, location power that's your job to handle it find it mm -hmm. if they need hoses water that kind of stuff um, security and police we also handle because um, a lot of times we're in um, pretty open locations and got a lot of expensive equipment laying around mm -hmm. so um, that's all on us and as well as like if you're doing anything outside or uh, you have to deal with all the county and the city and state regulations Government. and you know all that stuff is mm -hmm. the stuff that my department handles so the nuts um, and bolts yeah we're all about mm -hmm. uh logistics but uh stuff i think we one. put we end up putting a lot of stuff together and on the creative end of uh, location scouts get to kind of find what the director needs to make his vision yeah. work I, so yeah the location shapes so much of like the lighting and the mise-en-scene and right. yeah no totally it's, and, and it's, it's weird it's, it's uh, yeah i never thought of locations as a creative position but i guess yeah there is a lot like the the location you shoot in determines a lot about i mean a, a lot of what, about what a film looks like well yeah i mean basically a director and an art director will sit down and say you know this is kind of what we're looking for for this location and then they pass that down to the location scouts and their job is to go around and find a place that could fit or a, a has enough of a blank canvas that the director and the art department can really paint it to what they want it to be so hmm. um so that, uh, I do that sometimes, and that's a lot of fun. There's a lot of driving around, mm -hmm. and just, like, eyes everywhere. Like, what's down this street? What's down that street? And just kind of, like, stopping in, say, hey, do you know of anywhere that looks like this? Or, you know. Um, a lot of cold calls, a lot of just uh, A little bit of cold calls. A lot of times you just have to go up to a place and knock on the door. Oh, um, that sounds terrifying. It's it's a little frightening, especially when you're looking for certain types of places mm -hmm. that might fit in a horror movie, for example. Mm. So, like, decrepit old houses and abandoned buildings and stuff like that. That it's gets loves. a little shady, but at the same time, it's it's you get to see a lot of stuff that you wouldn't normally see if you're just driving around. You know? mm. Right. Or if you're just you get to on your way to work. Way. Yeah. Like, Interesting. The back roads are where all the cool stuff is. Do you have like so, a process when you go out, like when you, when you look, when you go out and just hunt for something? Like, do you try to like do you look at Google Maps or do you just kind of well, wing it? Well, we tend to be limited um, to thirty miles from wherever our production office base hmm. is. So, like wherever that is, is like the center of the production, and we look, try and find stuff within thirty miles. Sometimes you just can't. You got to go. A little bit further, but it's usually they like to keep it within that radius for kind of um, it's more for accounting and union purposes for the way that they pay out for transportation mm. and getting all these equipment from place to place. And that's um, we assist in that uh, in that we have to find places for all those things to live, like all the trucks and um, and equipment. It all has to go somewhere when you get there. It can't just be. 
uh, willy-nilly, put that there, put this here kind of thing. It's just, it's all got to be planned out so that it runs really smooth. Um, so that nobody's looking for anything. If nice. anybody's lost, then somebody hasn't done their job right. So, mm. um, mm. Should we what, is, so start how, the... what lessons can Left for Dead <laughs> teach us about locations? Uh, well, <laughs> I chose Left for Dead because I, I really I'm a big fan of um, the horror genre, and uh, this is takes a lot of cues from uh, '80s horror films. Uh, Ooh. Particularly each, zombie each, films, but it's just it's each got level its very, is like a, its own movie poster, right? It's essentially, kind of yeah, and it's kind of its own little story where you take the characters. Well, there's four of them always, you know. Just it, it's kind of a horror movie trope oh, that there'd be four in. characters, and they're all kind of um, Francis. No, Francis is like a Meryl or a. I don't know. By the way, we Shane. have a, a turtle top queue. That says my favorite Ian playing one of my favorite Xbox games. Aw. Thanks, uh, Turtle. That's that's my friend Adam. Uh, we went to high school together. <laughs> He's out there in LA oh. doing editing and making a name for himself out Ooh. there. So, oh, uh, fancy. By the way, happy Galentine's Day, Adam. <laughs> A little uh, reference there. Okay, so yeah, we were gonna, we wanted, we were thinking about doing a romance game for Valentine's Day, but that didn't. Uh, well, maybe, maybe. Uh oh, look out! Uh, Boomer is just Maybe we'll just have oh, a on. burlesque show on tomorrow. I'm throw a little I'll, I'll, over there. I wish. I'll get my tassels out of the closet and. So I saw recently. I saw um, a music video that you worked on. What was? Uh, now I can't remember the. It was Brie. It was, Brie. Uh, I love Brie. Smurf. Ah, Smurf. Oh, yeah. Smurf. Uh, yeah, that was, that you was were a lot of fun. You were actually um, in it for a minute. You got, like, clotheslined. <laughs> shout out to Brie for that. Yeah, uh, we had oh, to... Uh, I played it. Oh, that's a giant thing. Uh, we shot this thing where basically this guy gets attacked by uh, oh, God, drones, God. which are mm. just kind of like uh, people taking over. Oh, no. I'm I'm not in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. trouble. I'm, I'm in trouble. Uh, drones were taken over by uh, nano machines, essentially, and their brains were uh, essentially. Oh, jeez. Man, we're getting killed out there. You are dead. You are dead. I, so you did a little bit of the art direction in that, right? You did some of the, like, the set a design? A little bit, yeah. Um, so in the beginning of that particular music video, we had to build kind of a lab that kind of a... I'm going to take your shot again. No! Sorry that you're dead. My shotty! Couldn't save you. Shotty. Um, so what I did a lot in that is uh, I built the kind of lab that I was in just using like mm -hmm. random uh, parts and, and worked with a couple other guys to kind of put it together so that it make, made it look like he was creating um, this little pill that he eats and gets superpowers with. So. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. But it's kind of... Oh, that's a lot of... Yeah, I liked because you did like a little. There was like a a little like radar screen. Uh, yeah, I did a was, little bit of um of yeah the uh, visual effects in that. I just uh, kind of. It looked reminiscent of like the a the motion sensors in Alien. Right? Yeah, and I that's that, that was uh, the director. Homage. Yeah, the director Chandler Mays actually um, asked for that very specifically, mm. and it was kind of a it was a it was a little bit of a challenge to kind of re recreate that uh, with just using kind of Adobe After Effects and what I knew of how to use it. Uh, I'm not like an expert at After Effects, but I have a lot of little uh, skills like that little tricks, and, and little Photoshop I'm pretty save. good with that, that that definitely come in handy actually in my uh, professional work. Uh, hmm. A lot of times I'll make diagrams or maps um, using Photoshop oh, and yeah. it helps kind of people get to know the place. A lot of times we're in places for a long time, for a couple weeks, hmm. which in the production world is a very long time. Um, and so will uh, basically kind of help people understand where everything is so they don't get lost. Because really, it's it's all about time is money for for them. So you know, yeah. the smoother you can make things run and get things going, the better. And we're a lot uh, we're in, responsible for a lot of that. Especially like you might see signs sitting around or all laying the around, signs the, around. Yeah, all the yellow mind. signs with arrows saying. Now, are um, you the one that sets those up? Uh, I did for a while. That's uh, one of the jobs in my department, one of the you know lower things. And I still do it quite frequently, uh, just because 
I'm always needs to be tempted, done right. I'm always yeah, tempted to just follow tough. them and yeah, see yeah. what's going on, but I'm sure y'all don't appreciate it. People don't appreciate that. Well, I mean, people do follow them, and that's randos. one of the reasons why we have security a lot, <laughs> um, because you never know. You know, just you never know, and you don't. It, it's a very is Matt Damon here. Movie sets can be a pretty Matt dangerous Damon. place, and yeah. it, everybody needs to know what's uh, what's going on. A lot of heavy in order things to keep up on safe. stands. Yeah, that yeah. People can fall on people. Yeah, and especially like if you have people, a lot of extras. That that mm. can get tricky because mm. uh, you got to basically corral people because it's a bunch of people sitting around. For a very long time. A lot of hurry up and wait, yeah. Yeah. Um, with nothing to do. A lot of, you know, professional extras will bring... Um, books. Bring books and games to play because they know that there's a lot of just sitting around doing nothing. Um, but like you have to be on call, so you can't just... Yeah. Zone out into something. You gotta, you know... Be ready to jump up if, if the production needs you, essentially. And when you're dealing with like 200 of those people, it gets hectic and safety becomes a real big issue. And that's one of the things that uh, forefront of my department is really safety. I mean, a lot of well, the, like, in terms of stunts and um, pyrotechnics, we, you know, hire the we we organize like the fire department getting there mm. and being there and making sure that they're okay with what we're doing. We tend to like blow stuff up sometimes, so uh, so you gotta have the personnel required essentially mm. to be there while you're doing that, and that's one of the things that we do. And we always have a medic wherever anybody is working, and that's kind of a that's a blanket rule. Um, but beyond that, like we're in charge of going, and a lot of these places that we go to are not exactly up to code or yeah. really safe places. So a lot of times we have to go in and identify all the uh, the dangerous things. Hmm. You know, like is this platform going to be able to hold somebody's weight? Is it safe to be on? If not, then we need to you know let everybody know that it's not safe and rope it off or. You know, make a concerted effort to keep people. Oh, smoker! Uh -oh. Uh, I'm stuck. Uh, help! Oh! Ah, uh, my. my. Uh, and then I just got thrown it on. Oh. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm throwing. Should pop that pipe in. Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Move there. So, what, do you have any other like um, any recent projects that you've been uh, that have come out well, or, or anything coming down the future that you, you you'd like to talk about? Well, or? I most recently worked on um, a film called Mild. 22, mile 22, which is uh, it's going to be a, it's a, it's a sequel spy to Mile thriller. 21, right? <laughs> uh, I guess. Oh, no, it's a spy thriller. Um, hmm. That was a lot of fun to work on. We got to do some great uh, pyrotechnics and stunt work with that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I got to see some, nice. some cool stuff like a house being blown up. Ooh. And, uh, that would be fun to watch. And yeah, that's a that's tricky from locations standpoint. And uh, props to all the people who made that happen. And uh, yeah, because that was no easy thing to do. Oops. Hudson Pasta, which I'm pretty sure is Dan out there. Yeah. Says, "Hey, oh, get him." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I should not shoot teammates. Sorry, teammates. So like, what other? So like. What what kind of locations did you have for like this oh God. for the spy movie? Did you get anything like exotic in there? Or? Um, well, mostly what we were looking for is uh, I think we were going for a very uh, like Langley, Virginia, or kind of ah. um, kind of like ru uh, suburban Oops, uh, northeast gotcha. kind of feel. So mm -hmm. um, so we went with a lot of kind of like marbly old. Buildings and stuff like that for uh, kind of like DC some of the sets. greater area. Yeah, like, and we did build a really extensive set inside a, an old hotel. That was really cool. Uh, where they just kind of they took the existing rooms and kind of turned it into a very different uh, place. I'm not sure I can say exactly where because it might tip off 
part of the story, but... No spoilers. No spoilers, man. We don't have a spoiler one. Oh, oh there's no, a guy no. right there. There's, oh, and oh, there's a tank oh, right there oh, who just oh, freaking oh, knocked it, me. It, it, Someone has to come rescue me. Something got You're, thrown at my head uh, as I was it coming was, up. It was a I, dumpster. <laughs> did, wait, did he get both <laughs> of you with the same dumpster? He got me with I the dumpster. So, uh, so I'm getting, I'm, I'm, did it fall down the manhole? No, it hit me as I was coming up. I think he probably popped his head up and a... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, that sucks. Hello. We're coming down to get you. All right, Dan has a question. All right, go and, for it. And Adam has a question. Oh, jeez. Dan said, uh, what is the hardest location you had to get and why? Uh, oh, oh, there's... Ooh. Oh, next knockdown. Oh, uh, there's dead. the tank right there. The, the tank. It's right oh, there. God. Oh. oh, God, oh, God. Oh, right God. There. It's right there. Kill Run it. away. Kill it with fire. Run away. Kill. Okay. Reloading. Um, the hardest... Uh, the airport is yeah. really tough. The airport? The airport I is can really imagine tough. there's a lot um, of logistics. There's a lot of logistics that goes into just getting like an hour in the airport. Mm. Uh, and a lot of times you got to do it in the international terminal just because it's a le less busy terminal, but not that much less busy. Looks uh, nicer in there too. Yeah, and it's a lot of... It, there's a lot of legal departments battling over the contract and oh. what we can and can't do and a lot of, yeah. Um, milling in the airport is difficult. I think that's the, probably the toughest place um, we've ever had to get. Hmm. Have, you done, have you done the airport multiple times or is that just on? Um, actually, just um, recently. And we finally, I finally hmm. got uh, something going there. Yeah, I remember when I was in film school, there was this guy, uh, I think Johnny? Um, he got to shoot at the DeKalb airport, and we were all amazed. Like, he just kind of snuck in. You guys went to the same college, by the way. Oh, yeah. You're, you're an Art, Art Institute alumni? I am. Um, do you remember the song? We can sing it together. Uh, I do not remember the there song. There was no song. There was, there was, <laughs> there was, we were just barely, uh had a mascot by the Our time I left. Our team was undefeated. It was totally <laughs> undefeated. I those shirts. So we, had, we had no football team. That's why it was undefeated. So uh, that was a chess joke. club uh, at the Art Institute. Oh. All right, guys. Dan asked Atlanta Airport. You did not specify. Ah, uh, yeah, the Atlanta Airport. The I should... Um, Hartsfield-Jackson. Hartsfield-Jackson. The, 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 the big busiest, one. The, the one that one made in... that can be, you know, like, basically a major airport anywhere. If you shoot it in the right way, but that even gets tricky because set decoration uh, there is. You need to close the possible. door. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I got the door closed. <laughs> um, Adam also asked, "What is the scariest location you've ever had to work for a production?" Oh, uh, um. I, okay, so I worked on uh, Captain America: Civil War for a little while um and this place oh nice i really like that one uh it turned out great and i had a blast working on it but there was this place that i had to work it was um it's called ofs it's on the north end of town it's basically this old fiber optics manufacturing warehouse so mm -hmm. um we built uh, i built a couple sets there like mm -hmm. a, a lot of um movies use there that place to um create it's just as a big it's space a big to create. Indoor space you can yeah. put, yeah. All kinds of stuff uh, we built in there. But we built this one for um, Captain America: Civil War, and it's the Siberian base that um, the so Winter that was Soldier the one for trains the, for at. The end, the the end scene, right? For the are the right. So when when they yeah, basically when at the end of Civil spoilers. War, spoilers, spoiler alert, they go to this base in Siberia and. Uh, it's where the Winter Soldier and then had the trained. Kills Iron Man, right? And then right. And Zulu that's... comes back, and... and then the Mandarin shows up with his rings. Yeah. But um, no. and then Batman <laughs> comes, and he's anyway. Like, at the end of that, that's it, DC Corey. It was, <laughs> we built it in the basement of OFS, this old fiber mm. optics manufacturing plant, and the basement super creepy. It's mm. it's so just everything echoes. From upstairs, Ooh. so like if somebody dropped a crescent wrench somewhere in the building, it would <laughs> echo and ring really loudly and deeply, and sound like somebody like fired a cannon somewhere in the building. Like, 
Uh, it had tunnels that were just old and like covered and stuff. Like they used it as like basically as is to look like this old yeah, abandoned base. Yeah, it's supposed to look base. like an old abandoned, yeah. Cool. Our, like, yeah, testing facility. And, uh, that was really cool and just kind of creepy some nights because being the last person there often after Alone, destruction in the dark and, in the basement yeah just quiet so, so quiet do you do you ever aid in like the actual like set construction as part of locations or um typically that... not in the actual physical labor portion of it like they, we there are specific departments that of course they do very specific things, and we assist all of them mm. in getting what they need and getting set up. Like, a, you know, construction has to have a place for their tables and, and a place to work, and, and so we provide that and keep everybody comfortable for the most part uh, in terms of temperature, you know. Uh, but it's, it's the kind of thing where a lot of it is creative problem solving. Mm. And that's what really it's gets all, me. Because every set is different. Every, yeah, every every, every place is different. Is... So you gotta just kind of like do your best to work out the best way to do it. And it's not always easy, but when it is, it's great. But I mean, I love it because I can just sit mm. back, and if I, after I do my job, I just get to watch. I get to watch the magic happen. Mm. I get to watch, you know. Uh, all these sets be built from the ground up and and become somewhere completely different and then um watch you know people the people work that's that's what it really amazes me is because uh, there's all these really like skilled people doing doing this stuff uh, i worked on guardians of the galaxy too and that was like by far so my favorite. Been, so how much? So are you? So you've been on the Marvel circuit, I guess, for a bit. A little bit. I, I worked on um, Captain America: Civil War and Guardians of the Galaxy Two. Um, it's pretty crazy. By and the way. they were like just really amazing to work with. That do you have like is a? Floating, do you, is there like a specific moment from those productions that really like that really sticks with you? Uh, it's just. Um. Yeah. Actually. I, I worked on them as a stage manager, which meant I basically mm. looked after sets they were building from the ground up. Like, they just needed, uh, you know, a place to build this stuff. And, and so I took care of those places and everybody in them um, the best I could. And that was just, it was incredible to just watch all these people create these in just alien worlds from... Nothing. You really wood, get to see like behind from... the movie magic, right? Yeah, yeah. You get yeah. to see like, and it's really cool. it's really fun, um, and that's why I enjoy it so much. I can just walk out there and be like, oh, okay, well now it looks like a ship, or you know, that's going to be um, an alien palace, or uh, the, some of the stuff they built for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was just truly incredible, um, and and the stuff, <laughs> everything that went into making those just blew my mind you gotta appreciate the fact that they actually build those sets still and not just like use a psych wall yeah i and i wish um i wish people could see a little bit more of that process because i mean really the only the only exposure people to get to or the public gets to the magic behind the scenes is through you know like featurettes on the dvd or mm. who buys dvds anymore right what's a dvd and so a lot of people don't see that and uh, I wish they could because it's really oh. amazing like what they what they come up with. Guardians of the Galaxy, a lot of the spaceships in that movie they built from just random industrial parts. That's so cool. That they, they found, you know, and, and I want industrial one. junk. Do you know what do they still together. have those spaceships anywhere? Can I uh, I think what they typically do um, with the, the set well and this is something? this is so sad to me, is they oh. usually tear down and scrap. Mm -hmm. a lot of stuff uh and that it just it breaks my heart because of you know all the work in uh that they put into it but i know that marvel particularly they like to save stuff they like to recycle nice. they like to 
you know, take stuff that was particularly difficult or unique and keep it and put it in storage somewhere so that, especially, especially with, with Marvel, exactly, yeah. they're, they're going to probably use it again. They can find somewhere, you know, if it's something they don't have to build because it's built already. Uh, so they'll apply it to wherever they can. And uh, I know and they're they very good about that. And they make the spaceships actually fly, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, actually, special effects has done some pretty amazing things with uh, simulated uh -oh. flight. Hmm. Well, that's, a, that's not good. Is that? Oh. Well, our... our uh, oh. tank. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry, I can shoot oh. him in the I'm bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. Oh. Alright. Don't you know the worst place to go during a zombie apocalypse is, is the, the hospital, hospital right? Uh, well, this is, this game has pretty much all the worst places to go uh, in a zombie apocalypse, such as the airport, mm -hmm. uh, the hospital, um, an open field. So you like open the field. You like the zombie. You like the zombie. Zo see, I would imagine an open field would be nice because you can see them coming. Uh, unless it's a cornfield. No, which, not like mm, fast zombies like you, this. Yeah, these are. Yeah, these are fast. These rage, aren't rage your, monsters, uh, not. Your, your rambling. They're infected with rage. Calling the elevator. Get ready to fight. So what's your favorite zombie movie? Uh, and why is it 28 mm, Days Later? <laughs> Those aren't zombies. They're infected with rage. Well, well if, they're they're not, they're no. if they're not zombies, how come I'm shooting them? If those aren't... It, it's, it just depends on what your definition of zombie is. You know? like, well, it's, it's... Technically speaking, a zombie is like voodoo, right? It was like a cursed person brought well, back would you Well, con would you consider like, like Resident thing? Evil zombie movie? Uh, Zombie is undead. There's right. Is it undead? Is it like infected with viruses? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, is it, oh it's crap. Become, oh, it's oh, become more of a broader term for just your general rotting, undead, reanimated. Right. So but if then, you're being technical, if we're doing it to the letter, it's got to be voodoo. All right. I'm sorry. It, it's got to be Best voodoo involves. Uh, this guy's in trouble. So what, yeah, what what is your favorite? Is it 28 Days Later? Or I, I don't know... Like if you're if you're if we're going for the kind of zombie hordes, uh, it would probably yeah it would be. Uh -oh. I think Twenty Eight Days Later, yeah, probably my favorite. That movie was, was so it's really well done. Like and, especially for the budget, it was like a really, you know, like a really modest budget. Really, like they they did a lot of really clever stuff to to get like the, the CGI, the roads all blocked up and stuff. Yeah, and. I, I, I like how creative they were with um, just the oh, feel of it and, and the, the art direction behind it. Just kind of that gritty, very like... Uh, also, the, the whole movie is very claustrophobic, even though they're outside a lot. And I that, heard they, that's not easy to do. One of the things they did in that movie is they overcranked the shutter speed when they shot the zombies so they would look twitchier yeah. and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, so they look a little cleaner, especially when they're running around all fast. Also, I think that you can uh, speed a little bit uh, mm. on the frame rate, so mm. push a little faster, make them move a little quick, quicker and slight, but just ever so slightly, so Adam, that it's not noticeable. Adam said I still give it up for Romero's Day of the Dead. Uh, Day of the Dead is a good one. Um, honestly, there's, there's a lot of good ones, and I think uh, just that kind of like, this this game really embodies a lot of those, a lot of the styles. And, you know. I always like Planet Terror. That was um, a great one. Like, yeah, just Robert it, Rodriguez. Like, and, yeah, he and, just like everything was just <laughs> over like, the top. 11, over the top. Yeah, the whole movie. Well, and that like, and that and you really got to do that because there's been so many zombie movies that everything's been done already. Yeah, you know? like they got to push the envelope to really keep it interesting. Adam said some great locations in 28 Days Later. There are. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I'm just thinking about that. Just going to stare at that health pack. I was hop hoping one of the teammates would come grab it. Just... Well, you can heal them and then pick up the new oh, yeah. one. Where's yeah. Francis? He needs it. Come here, Francis. Oh, hold left trigger. There you go. Francis. Hunter. Yes. I always like. I always kind of liked Zombieland. I thought it was kind of a, kind of a clever take. Uh, I I do like Zombieland a lot. It's uh, 
It's funny, and I like how they just kind of they did that. Uh, Bill Murray. King. The rules of uh, mm. of a zombie apocalypse, you know, like cardio. Cardio. <laughs> cardio. Double number tap. one. Number one. All right. So fun fact. Bathrooms. Ian uh -oh. participated uh -oh. Uh -oh. in Campus Movie Fest in 2009, uh, and that is the win. year that they had Woody Harrelson and Emma Stone oh. at CMF, the CMF oh. Regional. Because they were shooting. Because it. they were shooting Zombie. Oh, cool. Bringing it back around. Bringing it back around. Oh, and man. here's your CMF Comes movie now. Circle. So what's CMF? <laughs> Campus movie? What isn't CMF? Well, we're about to hit um, 20,000. 20, we're going to have a special 20,000. 20,000. 20, there's a lot of THs in there. 20,000. 20, 20, 20, 20K. 20K yeah, 20, okay, there you go. CMF movies. I even did warm ups and everything. Um, Come to the safe room. So, yeah, that's exciting. 20,000 short films. Wow. I wonder if you put those that's back to back, how long that would be. Well, now they're five minutes long. Well, they're not all. They can be five or shorter, right? Most of them, though, are about five minutes. When I did mine, it was five to the frame. We, like, literally had to eke out every frame to get. I think uh, mine came up a little bit short um, from the five, but it was the the rule was you couldn't go over. That was so five minutes times twenty thousand would be one hundred thousand minutes divided by sixty. Oh, uh, okay. I would think someone was going to go there. Somebody just <laughs> just went to the rent. How dare you? It's one thing to sing Coheed and Cambria. Oh, yes. I can't math right. anymore because I'm a millennial and I don't know how to do anything anymore. All right, the final chapter of the hospital. The Here we go. Go under the roof. So if I have that right, it would be if it's if we're assuming every movie is five minutes, which it's not. No, so this would be max length. It would be about seventy days worth of movie. Ah, uh, that's a quite a binge. Yeah, that's quite that's, a binge. It's sixty nine point four repeating. Um, so you'd have to take bathroom breaks. So it would probably be about seventy hours to watch every CMF movie ever made. Well, that's everyone submitted. I'm sure a lot of people made movies that they were just too ashamed of. Or yeah. didn't get in time. <laughs> or was over time. Or didn't finish. Or didn't, didn't finish. finish. Yeah, there was a lot of that happening. Oh, I made a great 48-hour film once, but we just missed the deadline, and it was the worst thing that ever happened. Ah. Uh, because we did, oh man, we worked so hard on the movie. It's happens. And it was a beautiful film. Uh, this guy Gabe, oh, I can't remember his last name, but he was a he's great DP. He was one of the early adopters of like the DSLR filmmakers, and he really knew how to work uh, 5D. Um, that sounds wrong. Dan asks. Really knew how to work 5D. <laughs> 5D. 5 Ds at once. Uh, Dan asks for people who want to get into locations. What do you suggest? Um, good question, Dan. That is a very good question. You looking uh, to switch careers, Dan? How <laughs> I got in uh, because I was recommended by one of my teachers, actually, from our institute. Which one? Uh, Fran Burst. Oh, Fran. Uh, she's a true gem. Uh, I and she, she recommended me to one of her other former um, students. Uh, and I interviewed, and the job I interviewed for, I didn't get, but I came back and I was persistent, and mm. they hired me, and that was Fast Keep... and the Furious 7. Oh! Uh, so, I yeah, that's really... the they start getting fun, too. Uh, well, that, let's just say there was a lot of exploding cars, and throwing cars, and doing really ridiculous that stuff That must have been a cars. pretty fun set to be on. Uh, yeah, we did, we, we drove cars through buildings, and through artwork and through other buildings and also <laughs> throw them down streets while they're on fire, flipping over and over and yeah, Again, like, you have to appreciate <laughs> that they don't just CGI all that crap. Yeah, no, they, they did it all practical and um, special effects, one of the most fun things to watch is, is them work. Mm. They come up with all these crazy rigs that, that make the cars do this stuff. Mm. Uh, giant ratchet strap to a uh, a piston that pulls a car 
that's you know been stripped down so it's really light but yeah it's still a car down the street <laughs> and uh yeah all the gunshots and squid hits they built these mats out of basically this little foam rubber particles that explode and look like mm. asphalt breaking mm. oh neat so when you know like rocks downtown with a mini gun shooting up at a dwayne helicopter the rock johnson. dwayne the rock johnson downtown atlanta middle of the night oh, it's like 3 a.m and he's firing off a minigun at a helicopter that's shooting back at him. Doom Diesel. And then you have to tell him to knock it off so you can start shooting the movie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> knock it off. Rock smash. <laughs> <laughs> so you pretty much, you've gotten to be like kind of a fly on the wall for a lot of really cool movies. Yeah, that uh, fly on the wall is a good, good description, especially like uh, on the set when you've done your job in locations well, you don't have to do anything. You just get to sit there and watch. Hmm. Um, and that is so much fun because a lot of people on set don't get to see um, everything that goes on because they're like really focused on what they're doing and making sure that they put out a good product. But I get to sit back and like watch everybody work. So, would you say what movie uh, do you think you're uh, like yeah. the most yeah. proud of? Like, what? Like, was there ever like a, a, a location that was like really hard to find or really hard to like get right that you were, you just knocked out of the park or anything like that? Uh, I think OFS is one of those locations for me. Actually, I've done a lot of work in like abandoned what is buildings. O OFS. OFS is the is the one we did uh, the, fiber. the scariest one, like the yeah, fiber optics okay. manufacturing plant. That one, uh, that one's a tough location to run. Mm. Um, also, the there's this uh, old convention center on the back of a, a hotel down ah. by the airport. Oh, that is he also he likes you because you're pretty. You got that ponytail. Oh, oh god. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting oh shoot. Oh, oh no. Someone help. I'm coming. I'm, in, I'm incapacitated. I'm coming. Oh my god. No, don't shoot me. I'm trying to shoot the. There we go. We gotta get up to the helicopter platform. Have you ever played the board game anymore. zombies? I haven't. I wanted to. Uh, one of my friends had it. I haven't. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's a little weird because there's like a card mechanic. Like you build the level as you go, right? And then you, um, like, you lay out the zombies, and then you're trying to get to the helipad. But like, there's these cards that like you can make people like go the wrong way, or you can freeze them, or like all sorts of stuff. So like, it's kind of got a weird you. meta because like the cards can just they're they're like wild cards. They can just completely upset the game. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't played no, it a lot bad. lately. That's real bad. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna make it. Gotta get back up. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. What are, are some you? of the dangers? I'm down. Oh, I see. Here, getting oh. surrounded. The man is trying to kill zombies right I'm now. I'm pretty Sam. deep in zombie guts right now. That's one of the dangers is avoiding all the zombies. All right. I'm Walking Dead is, for way. those of you who are not from Atlanta, Walking Dead is actually a documentary. <laughs> That's just what happens when you eat too much chip pie. <laughs> <laughs> Too much Coca-Cola. It's the Coca-Cola in the streams. Gets in the water supply. Oh, what was that movie? Did anybody, did y'all ever see the movie where like the, there's a military plane that cra crashes and it's oh, got no, like this trouble. rage, like crazy. It's not quite, they're not quite zombies. It's like, they just Smack. go insane. Smack. There you go. And um, it was really good though. I mean, it was a little hokey, but um, oh man, what was that movie? Um, but like they end up. Oh, jeez. Oh, Look out, look out, look out. Me. It was kind oh, of like zombie-esque though, but people weren't like rotten. They were still like somewhat coherent. Coherent. They were just like, like insane. Like just like hmm. everyone. It turned everyone into like a sociopath. Oh. Um, oh god. Yeah. That's, that's not good. Hmm. I don't know. I think it was the crazies. I, you know, 2010, I think, The Crazies. Yeah, yeah, The Crazies. I think that's, that's I never watched, I never saw that, but I it was that. It was pretty interesting. Yeah. It kind of like, because it was kind of like an, an interesting oh, twist on the on the genre. Um, definitely had some over-the-top moments, but I mean, what, yeah, what, what I, zombie is complete without it? All right. Oh, All right, so now. Oh, you're going to be on the news. What if? <laughs> news, what are some of the dangers of your job? Oh, God. Like oh. some of the injuries you have uh, 
I mean, oh, I have there. sustained some injuries uh, working in decrepit buildings and mm. um, not. Well, actually, I, I broke chair, my ankle really bad. I don't know if I made it. I think I just died. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I broke my ankle really bad uh, at working on Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Oh, thanks. Vader shoes. Um, but this one, I actually have uh, two screws in this side and a plate and four or seven screws on the other side. Ooh. And uh, um, that came from a fence gate, like a 10 foot tall chain link fence gate that just came off the hinges and clobbered me and just like. Came landed pretty much on top of me, and my ankle just went 90 degrees the wrong way. And uh, yeah, so stuff like that is what you got to look out for. And um, part of my job is to make sure that doesn't happen to somebody really oh, important. Right. <laughs> as long as it happens to you and not I mean, Vin Diesel. It's basically what stunt yes. people are, you know? They do... You're the first one they there. Do, they do the, the crazy stuff so that you, the important people aren't injured. All right. Do offline. Work. Offline co-op. Off do co -op. edit game settings and do a different yeah, let's do, campaign. Uh, no, I want to do that one. What are you? What's your... Airport. airport. Oh, you're talking about airports. So we got to do airport. Let's, let's do the airport. <clears throat> I want to be... Airport. Let's do airport. Let's do the airport. Who do I want to be? Who's the bill? Bail. Bill. The old grizzled. Did you uh, want to choose your? Yeah, I'll choose. Uh, They're all the be... same, right? They're just different. I mean, skins. yeah, yeah and they they have different quips and silly things they say. Uh, too old. Francis, of course. Yeah, yeah. Too old for this shit, kind of stuff. And... Dead air. Their flight just got delayed <laughs> permanently. permanently. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> 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 that totally looks like a poster you'd see the right now soon. Mm. Do you ever see um, Hobo with a Shotgun? I don't know. I never saw that one. That, was, that movie was great. That was one of my favorite like grind horror parody movies. Um, there's another one that was really similar. I think it even might have been by the same filmmaker, but it's like Laser Kid. <laughs> Laser Man. Um... Was that the one with the? It was like post-apocalyptic and yeah, and it had like the his, the friend that was a girl, but then yeah, it was a little spoiler. spoiler. She uh -oh. was a spoiler. She was a spoiler. She was a car spoiler. Yeah, this is we're talking about the same movie. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, that was a good. That was a good movie. It was. It was like flew yeah, under the radar, but it was pretty good. I don't actually know what buttons are. Oh, uh, X is like picking up stuff. Y is the switch between your. Main weapon in your pistol. B reloads. A jumps. Okay. Uh, L trigger does like a melee, which that's pretty helpful it's in this really game. Really important, especially getting getting zombies away. Oh, from stop you. running! Yeah. Just open the door. Uh, shoot it. I'm gonna stand up here. Oh, I'm gonna gonna do the this. Oh no, I fell. Oh come on. Oh, this backfired. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I regret so much <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, the key to this game is really sticking Just, with. Yeah, stay together uh, is important in this game. That's Just like any horror movie, you should really stay together. No, I think we should all split up. <laughs> That's they, the best idea, right? It, they really punish you for that in this game. They really if you, do. If you go on ahead, your teammates, like, you'll probably die. I think I just <laughs> shot... Um, uh, there Lilith? is friend, friendly fire, so do be careful. Although, like, we're turned down to super easy, so... Oops. I could shoot at you for a while and not hurt you. It's not, it's not normal, but I guess there's like two difficulties. Yeah, uh, it's normal this. and like really hard mode, and really hard mode is, of course, <laughs> as they say. I gotta, you gotta love that source. This is Source Engine, right? Yeah, it's Valve. Like, you can just kind of tell, like, the way the characters kind of move, and like, they're still kind of like a little floaty. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit floaty. Oh, man. This is technically Sor a Half Life mod. How many. <laughs> Like every I mean, yeah. every yeah. Valve game, <laughs> basically. I've still been wanting to do Stanley Parable on stream, but I've already seen all the endings, so like I really want someone else to try it. Um, pistol have you here. played that one? Which one is it? Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable. No, I 
I don't. It's really, it gets in your head really well. It's really clever. You know the concept, like the, the setup or whatever? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you start the game and there's like a little intro and there's a narrator and the narrator kind of like, um, like explains what's going on and he gives you direction and you can either like obey him or not obey him. And he responds like, oh, I'm shooting people that, yeah, I need help. Um, yeah, so yeah, he, he, he either like, you can do everything he says and like beat the game in like 10 minutes or you can like, m like, like, um, be disobedient and like the game can take literally like 10 hours hmm. depending on which path you take. It's, it's pretty wild. Um, but it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's kind of a commentary on like gaming and free will and, and like, but the voice acting is really good. The narration is really good. And, um, a lot of like kind of the left hooks and little Easter eggs are a lot of fun. <laughs> it's not, it's not really, you know, it's not something you're going to get like a whole lot of hours out, but it's like definitely something that's worth like, it's only like five bucks on Steam or whatever. It's definitely worth that. Worth checking out. Yeah. Definitely. I think I got it on sale. Steam sales. Gabe, send me free stuff. Gabe Newell. Gabe Newell. Oh, you got, oh. you got slime. Oh, oh. Okay, we're shooting them, we're shooting them. I threw a bomb. Oh yeah, watch out. Oh, oh that was premature. Oh, oh that's, that's no! Oh, that's in there. oh, he's gonna get blown up. That was a waste of a bomb. I thought there no, was... No, no, there was, there was a couple. You got a couple. Yeah, it's good when you got the boomer bile, because it'll... There's only like three zombies, though. I'm going to bring it... Oh, come on. All right. Having played this game so much, I happen to know that there's probably a witch at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I should have saved a grenade for that. No, no, but can you turn the there. flashlight off and then just... Yeah, it's uh, up it? on the arrow pad. Got the little hot bar right there. Mm -hmm. All right, bar. I guess we're going this way. Not onto the street. Taking it to the street. Yeah. So, who who would you say is uh, the coolest celebrity that you have had an encounter with? Uh, I or do have, you even encounter I don't, actors it, that much? We don't really. I'm trying to save you. <laughs> Get to you know mess around with the actors a whole lot. They're working. Right. And it's, yeah, you don't want to go. It's more of a, like a professional respect thing. Like everybody's trying to do a job. You don't want to go all fan. Although I have really wanted to go fanboy on so many people. Uh, you have to kind of resist that urge. Um, but the coolest person that I've had the, the pleasure of being in the same room with okay, is Kurt Russell. Kill. Oh. Oh, yeah. Was uh, that on uh, Guardians 2? Both Guardians 2 and Fast and Furious. Oh, oh nice. Uh, you get to double dip the Ru Russell. <laughs> he's one of my favorite actors of all time. So I mean, really? Yeah. I, he Just the, the body of work that he's been in and is just it's really incredible like how much <laughs> how much stuff he's done and is he's the star of some of my favorite cult films a lot of my old um uh the thing i love the thing oh yeah it's one of my great, favorite horror well, i think we end up ever. talking about the thing almost like a lot every stream. <laughs> i know i I've, it's, it's, I've, I've noticed but i just <laughs> i gotta bring it up because it's one of those things that it's like it's the thing one of the best uh, creatures, horror movie creatures, like I, I think I've ever been conceived. So, um, but having him on set is just <laughs> there's an air of like there's a legend walking onto our mm. set right now. You guys, yeah. like everybody is very like, oh, there's Kurt Russell. Like, whispers in the background, like there he is, like. Um, yeah, he's very. <laughs> I mean, he's such a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. I was just thinking and, you know, of your description of uh, Ben Diesel on set and how he like scooters around. Oh, That's just... um, scooters like, like well, a razor. Uh, it's yeah, it's like an electric razor scooter that he would put awesome. around set on. And does he drift it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he a lot of times we're in places that are pretty large especially mm. OFS is a huge building I guess especially and if like it's a car movie and they're driving around on like well you know, he'll yeah. usually it's yeah he'll usually just kind of ride up on his little electric um, scooter pretty much like a little razor scooter and he 
Uh, he actually got one for the director of that movie too, so they would kind he's of short, do that too. together. He's like, you know, like uh, he's like not as tall as you. Two, two. I think I think two, two. <laughs> he's smaller than <laughs> smaller than like Peter Hobbit Dinklage for Hobbit, right? He's definitely a little <laughs> shorter than uh, than the movies make him look. Although Dwayne the Rock Johnson is not. Yes. Uh, Dwayne he the Rock Johnson huge. is a huge man. Well, he was also a wrestler, so uh, yeah, wrestler. That, you know that's you he really ever, is that big in real have life. Have you ever smelt what the Rock was cooking? <laughs> I don't is think that, I've ever have, been that close. Does he use it for as a euphemism for his farts? <laughs> does he, uh, oh, I'm sure he's done. Oh, oh God, you just got I fucked up, and uh, I don't have that much. Anymore. Never be the first it's one to climb a ladder in a zombie cocktail. apocalypse, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He never like he never like set up like set up a George Foreman and <laughs> I, I mean that's what he if he was at a say, barbecue I will apron. say and and uh, I think uh, Ludacris pointed it out too that oh, their Luda. their base camp was a little silly and they like oh I, I could three. imagine that group of uh, actors yeah. having a lot of well fun. Vin Diesel's got like a village within base camp uh, with. Uh, three like specialized trailers or something like that. It's, it's his own thing. It's it's <laughs> it's a little excessive, but I mean, really, he what is he three it, trailers? As, well, it's it, they're his. Like they belong to him. Oh, he, he, he brings, brings them. them. <laughs> What's like, in these we're, we're not like getting them for him. He they belong well, to That's nice so. of him that he. You know. Yeah, and it, it's basically just like a cool place to hang out while with all the other cast when he's on set. You know? It's where so he goes to play Dungeons they really and Dragons. They really do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that has happened in in that village before. Yeah, it's um, like famous for, Vin yeah, for that. Yeah, like a good podcast, Vin Diesel's, Diesel's trailer. Um, <laughs> Vin, I know you're, you're a, a But it lends itself to that, 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 <laughs> that uh, series and how, like, those guys all love working. Oh, oh which watch out! Zoe startled. Oh, you startled it. You startled I'm it. What did Zoe. you do, Zoe? I thought you were talking. Oh, uh, uh, oh, Zoe! Zoe, 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 Zoe you Zoe's gonna up. die. You gotta kill the witch. Did, did you ever did I get it? Did yeah, I get it? You got her. Did you ever get the? You ever were able to like <laughs> kill the witch before she actually gets up? Did you ever get that good at the game? Uh, you like, can headshot her if you're really sneaky and good shot. And you can put her down in one in one shot, and I think you have to do it with the hunting rifle. But uh, okay, uh, yeah, that is possible to do, and you feel like a total boss when you do it. <laughs> oh, oh hunter. hunter, where is? Oh shit! Uh, I'm pinned. That's bad. You're welcome. Oh, oh tank, 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 tank. Uh, light the tank on fire. Oh no. no! Get out of that room! Get out of that room! Oh, I'm on fire. Only for a second, <laughs> and he's on fire. For really useful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Thankfully, killing button? the tank with fire no. is often the best way to go. Uh, if the you more can survive. You know. oh, oh, now you still got. Oh, I'm down, guys. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna have to. Oh, oh now no. you're down. See, oh. I got greedy and then. <laughs> Die, you freaking tank! Jesus! Die! Uh, All oh, right. I think it's dead. Right. It's dead. We gotta get everybody Ooh. up. I gotta eat some pain pills because I'm at two percent. Adam said he's done with his work, and so now he's playing Left 4 Dead along with you. Oh, oh good for him. thanks, Adam. Good for you. Good for you. I wish you could play with oh, us. I, yeah. feel. I mean, we could, but uh, it would. Yeah, it would be. Just... I don't want to spend the rest of the stream <laughs> trying to figure that out. <laughs> Nobody really wants to watch a bunch of guys tinker around with stuff. <laughs> God, that'd be the lamest podcast. <laughs> bunch of guys <laughs> tinkering around. Tinker, no, tinker, tinker. no, HD. No, you gotta put it in the RCA. No, no, gotta, no, no, no. No, switch Maybe it. Try that. Try. No. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, get ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point. make oh, yeah. a lot of noise here, and there's gonna be some of these Some point slot action. So. <laughs> How does this work? The ass crack bit. Oh no, I didn't want you to go that crack. far. Is there not a, is there uh, not a, like a zombie? Drop you? It? Yeah, drop it. Just throw yeah, just it. There throw you go. Down. That's a good spot. And shoot it when we get close. And yeah, wait for something big to come along. I'm get just going to go ahead and... No, yeah, I guess I could wait for a big... Oh, oh there you're, we go. you're getting there. Oh, no! He licked no! you through the chain link somehow. Oh, uh, motherfucker! 
I got it. Oh, I got it. My hero. Sharpshooter <laughs> from the crane. Adam said there should be a Twitch channel that is just people trying to make <laughs> videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the factory tent work. setting is always too high. <laughs> the factory tent setting is always too high. Corey's always there with me. Hi. Like you guys are friends or something. Ew. How dare you? I will not have this libel <laughs> against me. Is it libel print? Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. Slander? Slibel. Slibel. Yeah, there you go. Just that covers sure everything. Libel and slander. I could never. Oh. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot Make it ha! Right. Shoot ha! <laughs> yeah, libel is a. Oh, uh, the classic Jurassic Park scene. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I just remember because there's that scene in Spider-Man. It's like this is slander. And oh, he's no, like, I, mean, I rejected I the, that. It's oh, print. It's libel. No, I'm in trouble, you guys. I guy. want pictures. Oh, no, you're covered in vomit. pictures. I can't see what's going on. You just gotta shoot it. What do you mean? Shoot Definitely. everything that doesn't have a name above its head. <laughs> I oh, I've shot you. I probably shot you more than I've shot the zombies this game. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I can take it, even though I think I'm gonna die very soon unless I get oh, a yeah. med, med kit. The world lost somebody all color. Kit? Ian, you should show my. Yeah, if I go down one more time, I'm gonna die. At some point. Do you remember what my strategy was? Oh yeah, it's basically <laughs> Melissa. I would play this game with Melissa every now and then, <laughs> and her strategy when she get uh, covered with the boomer is to just find a corner somewhere and then mm. spin and fire like this, mm. just like. <laughs> Keep going, and then throw a couple of melees in there, and then until it was over. And it was really funny watching oh, <laughs> watching that, because basically you see the person just... <laughs> should probably not do that. Over, Mary go uh, around, but with bullets. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. Uh, All right, we, there was I a scene get, like that in the on, movie I watched on, last on, night, The Ring of the Sacred Deer. Uh, I'm going to be back. Uh, I did. Oh, you're dead? Be rescued. So, you oh, can find no. people in, like, closets in yeah, this game. Yeah. Like, I can reappear further. Or if you find a safe house, I can reappear there. Right. Take, take his stuff. stuff. Take his shoes. Yeah, take <laughs> my shoes. You probably want to get at least a second gun. But you can have a second gun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A got? second Well, uh, you, you got it. You got oh. it. You, uh, submachine gun and a pistol. Does it have to be like a specific? No, just grab it no, right there. Grab. Well, you get ammo if you pick up oh. the gun, the other gun. Oh. Ammo for your submachine gun. You're gonna want that. That's not like. Uh, I think you might have been out, out of bullets full. when you died. What? Or maybe I was. What is happening? I don't know where I'm going. So, you know, besides Left for Dead, did you? What else did you play? Oh, uh, growing well, up, I, or what are you still actually, playing oh, if you're you. into that kind of thing? Uh, my my father, I have to attribute my love for video games. It came from my father, and he started me at a very, very, very young age. Nice. Uh, so I've had the pleasure of kind of watching video games evolve from the first one I played, which was Pac Man. Oh, nice. Uh, on the arcade, uh, sitting in my dad actually owned a pizza shop back then. Oh, cool. And he would just park me in front of the Pac Man with uh, like oh, four dollars as a quarters, and I'd go nuts for a couple hours. Um, but through that, I mean, I went from Pac-Man to a lot of early Blizzard games, um, like Warcraft 1. Oh, wow. Played Warcraft 1 way back in the day. And that got me in love with strategy games. Uh, so you ever play Age of Empires? Age two? of Empires 2 was one of my favorites, like medieval strategy games. I played uh, Starcraft, uh, I love. I don't think I got this. Oh, no, you're in trouble. Oh, that one was... Uh, I can't... Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm down there. If you could get oh, yeah. that guy up and, and head downstairs. Hold on, let me... I think I want this. The AK. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is an M16. Rifle. Yeah. yeah. AK is that. Soviet made. It has a wooden stock. Don't you know nothing? No. 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 Oh, so close. So close. Uh, I'm in the dirt. It's probably in here. In the closet. I'm stuck in the closet. I thought I was hey, dead, but I was just stuck in the closet. closet. <laughs> hey, there we go. Come out of the closet, Ian. 
this this big burly dude with tattoos just got yeah, just came out of the closet. It's always it's overcompensating for something. Maybe for a long time, but uh, now now. Boomer, shoot him. Got him. I feel compelled to like, yell that in the game. It's it, uh, if you played this um, with friends, there there would be a lot of yelling over Xbox Live uh, microphones. Ah! Boomer. That ha- that happened frequently. Um, one of my favorite parts about this game is that it just, um, in multiplayer, you can play as those little special zombies that yeah, come out and yeah. working as a team with uh, other people to take apart the zombie survivors, you know, it's mm-hmm. always quite fun. Oh, and you can play as the tank, which was also fun. <laughs> Smoking is bad for you. Kill this guy. Oh. oh shit. Get off me. Bad touch. <laughs> I just want to be friends. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Smoker. Nice. Fuck that shit. You didn't make it. Oh. So are you playing anything these days? Do um, you have time? My, my <laughs> when I do have time, I play a lot of Elder Scrolls online. I've been mm. a big Elder Scrolls fan since Morrowind. And uh, even back in Morrowind, I was like, I wish, wish they would make this game multiplayer. And they Long did, levels. and I've been a little bit obsessed with it for like three years. So <laughs> I, got, I got to level 10 in that game, but I was kind of like, I don't know, I never found a group to play with. Uh, yeah, the social aspect is kind of an important part of it. And, and in MMO, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, you know, it really it keeps the game interesting. Anyway. Oh, shit. And that has real staying power. Uh, and, and Shoot their kneecaps. What is going on? The witch is startled. Uh oh. Oh, God. Where is the witch? Uh, he startled the dying. witch. What is uh, going he, on? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's dead. Where did you, where did you even go? Like, outside. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, there's the witch. The fetal position. She's like right there. Oh, and then I just shot the car I wasn't supposed to Ooh. shoot. Ooh. Oh, my God, that's my silly pistol. Can I heal me up? Gotta do it fast. All right, there's sick pals <sighs> just down the street if I can get through all these zones. So do you get a chance to make stuff uh, creatively um, on your on your own? Um, sometimes. Uh, it's more of a pitching in on um, on friends projects like uh, the Smurf video I was talking about right, earlier. Was, right, right. Was pitching in on my uh, very very good friend Shannon News. Uh, work he does a lot of music video work with um, that particular artist Bree who's an amazing artist and everybody should check out for sure Saint Bree um, uh, does a lot does of work with up, him and does I he help go him out and crackers oh boy um, what 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 class and race are you in Elder Scrolls Online uh, I have <laughs> this is a great segue I, I have Speaking All of classes crackers. and races. I've been playing the game for so long. Oh, you're back that, in, Dylan. Oh. I've just been through all of them. I, mean, I have characters everywhere. I really like um, playing in Cyrodiil, the player versus player area. I went in there once and was just confused. Uh, it's it's, it's a li- it is kind of chaotic at first, but once you start figuring it out and you you find some people who also know what they're doing. Um, it becomes a lot of fun, and you get to really like be on the ground and throw spells and crap at each other, and siege with giant trebuchets mm. and uh, ballistas. Did you ever play uh, chivalry? Uh, I haven't played chivalry. Uh, actually, um, Elder Scrolls, I should say, is uh, the first MMO that I played. I skipped well, chivalry over. Chivalry was actually it's actually just matchmaking, but it's it's kind of like Call of Duty. Or... Yeah, it's kind of like Call of Duty or CS:GO, but it's with swords. With swords. It's like medieval, but they have they have levels with the siege weapons and stuff. But, oh, nice. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. They keep um, they keep making it more interesting by releasing DLCs and also updating the base game a lot. And I really appreciate that they do that. 
cool. And it's kept me, you know, like playing the game for three years. And yeah, that's a long time. Heal now? Mm -hmm. Yes, heal now. Heal now. Gun up. How much longer do we have in this? Uh, uh, we're almost to the airport. Okay. I think, yeah, uh, I think once we get the. Once we get one. there. The last one, I think, took, it said like 51 minutes. Yeah, I like it. We can move a little faster if you want. We just gotta stay together. You can do this really fast. You can do speedruns on this I've done before. I watched a speedrun of Mass Effect the other day that was pretty mind boggling. Ooh, yeah. Mass Effect it was like I 52 minutes. I feel like that's almost defeating the purpose of Mass Effect. Well, like speedrunning, like you're not actually playing the game, you're breaking it. Yeah, right. you're just that's getting true. through it as fast as possible. Uh, Lewis is. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's so dead. Get this guy away from me. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Lewis. Oh, Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. oh take Mega. his gun. No. Wait, I thought I had an M16. Speaking what is this shit? I don't Did know. You run out of ammo? Oh, you died. Oh, you oh, died. That's right. Oh, because Hang on, I think there's some, there are some goodies over here somewhere. Goodies? Goodies. Some memes. Some Molotovs. Some pythons, maybe, somewhere around here. If I ever oh. have a problem, I just throw a Molotov cocktail. Then I have a new problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will, uh, you should watch it. Yeah, won't well, shut up about that show. <laughs> it's so good. Well, Dylan, er, right. he is the only person. Let's bunker down over here. We gotta burn this. And make a lot of noise. That also watches it that I know of. So, <laughs> Corey's my only outlet. Okay. Yeah. Ian won't watch it with me. What? I, I will just you now. Never. Someday. It's it's worth it. So. If it makes if it makes any better, it's oh. it's serialized. It's not like a cheesy sitcom that kind of like goes back to the status quo every episode. Oh yeah, no, I, I get the gist of it. Okay, explain the plot to me. <laughs> I do want to watch it. As well, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's like a lot of TV. No, yeah, it's yeah. Like, the, the yeah TV is so good now. Know. There's no time for like mediocre TV. Yeah. Like yeah. it has to be the best thing out right now, it's, or it's, it's got to no be it's got to be like. If you don't want to binge it. Mm -hmm. But then you have to have time for that thing. Right. And what is that? Oh, there is no safe direction. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much this game. <laughs> that's what they should have called. Oh, you. Uh, you're almost dead. I've already and shot and the end enough tonight. <laughs> yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a boomer. That's bad. No, 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 no. Shoot them all. One thing I really no. wish that they had, oh, that they have in the right. sequel, is uh, like baseball bats and katanas. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, that was kind of nice. It's actually really helpful for cutting through the horde. Oh. That jockey, though. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. I got you. Come on, me. Oh, fuck. I'm getting beat on. I had like zombies. I'm jealous. Oh, wait, no. No, not, not that the good kind. kind. Not the good kind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. So. Hey! Achieve an unlocked green salad! I wonder what that is. A lot of chibis. I think you hit shots. something in the head, yeah. Shotgun headshots, maybe? Or maybe it's you've gotten a headshot with several different. Kinds of weapons, or maybe all different kinds of weapons. Yeah, it seems that sounds like a salad. That sounds like a salad. What's your favorite kind of salad? Uh, chicken <laughs> Caesar. Wait for it. I'm a Cobb salad man myself. Cobb salad? Yeah. Is that because you're from Cobb County? No, I'm not from Cobb County. Wait, you're not? Ooh. Get oh, out! Thanks, Lewis. He's he's helping you. I've worked in Cobb County a lot. He's a good guy. Um, no, I just, I like the, the, the egg. I like the hard-boiled mm. egg in the salad. I think it's a nice touch. Though I don't like the ranch dressing. T typically I go like an Italian dressing or maybe even a honey mustard if I'm feeling naughty. <laughs> oh, naughty honey mustard. Yeah, naughty saucy. honey mustard. It's so sweet. It's just like, hey, I want like a bunch of drippy sugar on my vegetables. <laughs> this is healthy, right? Ooh, it's not a pills. salad without candy on pills. top. Where's the pills at? Um, I, uh, I already ate them. 
Ah, I'm high. You <laughs> Percocet. Okay, Molly, oh, Percocet. you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm coming to save you. Mask off. Zombie off of me. I should shoot the cars, right? No. no. Should I get bonus points? <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to kill more zombies, it's, sure. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, right. good guns. So, so Ooh, where are those? Actually, go. let me have uh, some. Oh, right. Oh, no scope. Oh, scope. I'll give this a try. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's automatic. It is. Yeah, I thought it was. But yeah, that's. I thought it was bolt action. That was. Uh, oh yeah, that would be terrible. <laughs> um, do, have you ever played PUBG or seen any of PUBG? Uh, I've seen some PUBG. I haven't played it yet. And, uh, There's a. Adam. <laughs> in all caps said, Jesus Christ, do not shoot the cops! <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, you could. There's a there's a bolt-action rifle in that game that's really good, but I never get it because I'm so terrible with it. Yeah, those are real tricky. It's like a one-shot kill, but that one shot is going to basically be all you get. So you got to make it count. I'm, I'm more of a spray and pray kind of guy. <laughs> always good with the spray and pray. I've always been more of a melee guy. I throw really enough, like getting up in, in somebody's face. Throw and, enough lead in the air and you will hit something. The sword in Halo was my favorite weapon. <laughs> always. The hammer was always a lot of fun. Just because the, the sound design was great. But the sword was good too. Though it was completely broken in two with the unlimited ammo. Oh yeah. Halo's... When you just run around basically the whole match with the sword and wreck everybody. I miss Halo land parties, man. That was like the most fun stuff. Yeah, back in the day. Picking up all of Those were the days. <laughs> I didn't know who you were. I'm going to up over here. Real quick. No, just throw some bandages over those bites. Whew. Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna get him. You got him. Oh, Zoe stealing my kills? Zoe. Come on, Zoe. Ooh, yeah, nice right. right in the line there. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed it. Now I want to see Zoe de Chanel in a zombie movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, picturing that. Uh. 500 days of slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, get Adam to write that up right now. Oh, oh Adam, go. 500 days listening. of night. 30 days of night. <laughs> oh, that movie was days great. Of... No, that, was, that was weird. It was like zombie vampires. It was it was straight up vampires. I don't even think but they there was kind a zombie. Of like, they were like Horde-esque a little bit. Uh, I guess. I guess, they would I guess turn. That, yeah, at the end they would like think of the thing. Have you read the, the graphic novel? The comics of that are actually way better than the movie. Oh, yeah. The graphic novel is so much better than the movie. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> that oh was my God, how I disappointed. I'm such a terrible shot. It's done. Pop some more pills. G2G. Uh, there's a zombie right here. Oh, shoot. get Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot there's a spin around button. Oh, yeah. That's pretty clutch. Adam said he's already on page 40. <laughs> 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 he would be. <laughs> he would be. Exterior, hot tub night. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Adam, my friend, is a very good writer. Nice. And also very quick at it. See, that's what always kind of held me back in writing is that I'm dreadfully slow. Uh, I'm sure if I, I am, actually practice. I'm the same, yeah. Actually, you do it enough and it, it becomes kind of second nature. The whole literacy really thing think about really gets in the way too. Writing out it's, conversations. It all, it's all in pictures. Yeah, really I have hard. to use hieroglyphics. <laughs> oh, I that's really a witch. Like, Let's see if I can pop her in there. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Spirited Away. Yes. Apparently that was like he storyboarded oh, oh, that oh, before oh, he wrote oh, it. Oh, 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 he got cocky. Oh, got cocky. Get off my friends! <laughs> oh, she's got you. Zoe's freaking alright, you know what, Zoe? Yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's uh, MVP Adam, right now. Adam said it's really it easy. Bad. Mostly just Zoe making awkward faces while she uses Siri to order pho <laughs> while the zombies oh, are the town. Oh, oh, I have something for this. I got it, I got it. Oh. Set them on fire. Um, oh, then they're going to blow up. Oh, there we go. We're good. 
Look, they're out there. That was a very good Molotov. And a well-placed uh, pipe bomb, I must say. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> That's what this game's all about. Get Molotov, get. Oh. Oh, Jesus. pipe bombs. Ah, oh, that went way too bomb. close to me. I need some help. Probably should throw that pipe bomb again. I wish I had it. I have one. Go. Yes, go play with that. Kabooey. <laughs> Ah, always nice. <laughs> Zombies are dumb. Don't shoot the car. Isn't it kind of like sad that like your your contemporary zombie doesn't really go for brains anymore though? Like yeah, that's not really they a thing. That, that, well, I mean, did you ever watch Ugly Americans? Uh, Adam said, also Melissa, your spin and spray technique when the boomer vomit boomers vomit is a great strategy. It just saved my life. Ah, I mean, it works. It, Vindicated. It works really well when it, it, you're not hurting your friends that much. <laughs> that looks like a special zombie. Oh, Lewis, you're getting me high. Mm -mm, just, I'm awesome already high. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he just shot Lewis. This game is a gateway this. drug to uh, painkillers, by the way, so you gotta know, watch out. This is, actually, this is what actually game. caused the opium oh, epidemic uh, I'm, in America. I'm eating some right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how this that's how the zombies got their gotcha. start. All right, we are in the airport. Finally, got the oxy man. Hey man, I, I just really need like some help. It's actually like. I knew a kid growing up that OD'd on Foxy. Oh, you know, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Get out of here! I heard her, but I, I didn't want to panic at all. Well, see, I can't hear her that well. She's just whimpering over there in the corner. This has got you. Thanks, this Lewis. is such a good guy. Even though I shot you earlier. So if I get downed again, I'm... Oh, safe house. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you're almost too ahead. head. Because she blended in with the gray hallways. Yeah, you walked up right on her. I was trying to get a headshot on her. Oh, thanks. More pills. Come on, Lewis. Get in the room. All right. Do I want a shotgun for this part? Is there anything more? It's, uh, this part has a lot of uh, tight hallways, a uh, couple of, like, conference rooms, so... Hmm. Are we going to have a conference? I did the most damage to the tank. Well done. I did the least damage to the tank. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Wait, really? I thought we started at seven. What is my life right now? What is your life right now? Oh, uh, oh I see. Alright. I thought you were saying two hours. Hey, oh, Macarena. I always really love the graffiti on the walls oh, yeah. in this game. In the safe houses. We are the real <laughs> monsters. <laughs> no, no the zombies. Idiot. Think it's them, stupid. I hope Your you are mom, dead. <laughs> Your mom's gay. Have you been what? outside? Have you been outside, outside Jack? <laughs> it's basically <laughs> just internet comment. Oh, I yeah, missed the, the internet. internet. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. First. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, some dead bodies out there. Are they moving around dead bodies? Um, they don't appear to be. Nope. No. Is this the last chapter? I believe it is. Um, yeah. we got to get to the tarmac where the plane is waiting to take off. Two. Ooh, cocktails. I want of the, the pipe bomb. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh. No, your liver! It's too quiet. Oh, there's some zombies. Oh. You, you, you jump in front of my shots there. Oh, my bad. Probably stick to one side of the hallway. 
This is a very fast... Oh, this is... Is this isn't even a pump shotgun? Is this an automatic shotgun? Oh yeah, it's like uh, automatic shotgun. He just yeah. pumps it really fast. It's like the... What is it, the no... Not the Nova. The X... Whatever. Whichever one in, um... Bye. CSGO that I use. Bye. I haven't played CSGO in a while. You ever get Ride That Train? Uh, no, I haven't. It's actually pretty good. I don't know, like, uh, if you play actually the competitive, the community's pretty good. The casual, you run into your typical, like, 4chan troll. Oh, yeah. Um, I understand a lot of people just have to ruin it for everybody else. You know, sometimes it's fun. sometimes it's kind of funny, like, if, like, nobody's really being, like, accosted or getting, like, upset or anything, like... Just some guy. I don't know. I mean, I've been I've been in situations where like I'll, I it's obvious that my skill level is way higher than somebody else's, and but at the same time, it's just like that's how you learn. Yeah. You gotta kind of. But it, it's the people who just like ruin somebody's day over it. Yeah. You know. It, Especially if they take it like outside of the game. Yeah, and or if like, you know, it's like well, like that guy who uh, I'll, did I'll, the swatting. I'll give people tips. Oh yeah, the you know? swatting. That stuff that's is like crazy. Like that we, guy got shot. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, he wasn't killing. even the that's... one playing the game. It was the wrong house. Like oh. Uh, well, yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's just... basically ordering a hit using government resources. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely something wrong with that. But. Uh, so far, no one's tried to swap me. That's good. No one's tried to swap the stream. Yeah, so Not far. On wood. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. Don't get any ideas. All right, uh, I think we're about to startle some horde action by moving this van. Oh, gonna be hold on, hold on. Let me prepare myself. So get yeah, a good like, spot or something. Reload all your weapons. I'm gonna turn on this truck. I just want to find a good corner to hide in. The best <laughs> corner, I think, for this spot is actually right here. Yeah, that looks like. Oh, nice. Right yeah. Here. On the new stuff. So I'm here, gonna I'm gonna elevation. put a brick on the little. Uh, I got a pipe bomb too. I mean, cool. That'll come in handy. Here we go. Going. I can just hold this, and the fuse will eventually blow up in my hand, right? <laughs> Probably not. Oh no, Lewis, what are you doing all the way up there, man? For the horde. I actually, have, I actually have an ex that was a horde player, so... That's why she's your ex, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it was like Romeo know. and Juliet, I was Alliance. And... <laughs> Star-crossed lovers. <laughs> oh, and I'm out of ammo. Stuff my pistols. Alright, that's not too bad. Yeah, I really, what I really liked about ESO, to segue back to that, is that they it, it's kind of like the other Elder Scrolls game where it's not quite turn-based. Like, it actually has, like, a little bit of, like, real-time combat mechanics going on. Yeah. Um, well, it actually worked out... I, I'd always wondered, like, how they were going to make the traditional, like, Elder Scrolls game multiplayer, because it's not really... The mechanics don't really lend itself to like a multiplayer environment, mm. um, so they had to take some liberties in Elder Scrolls Online yeah. uh, and change the mechanics a little bit. But it works in that it's kind of like an auto auto targeting system. Mm -hmm. But there is like a line of sight um, aspect to it. So I mean, you can use the train to your advantage if um, if you're a quick character. It allows it to be more than just like a who's got your the best DPS weapon Your DPS versus game. their right, DPS right. versus who's your got the, buffs versus, yeah. Versus how tanky we are. But I mean, like you can be, a, it allows it to be, you can be like a stealthy character and actually be able to, uh, you know, oh, get be out effective. Of it. Oh, oh I've, made, all, I've made a terrible mistake. I need a gun. <laughs> I need a better gun. Smile, no, 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 shoot him in the boob. I don't like it. <laughs> Bad touch. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. I got you. Oh, it's like I got prom you, night all over again. Uh, what was your prom night like? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when the zombies attacked. Hey, come here. <laughs> the prom oh, theme is post-apocalyptic. I'm healing you up, buddy. Think you need, you need like... some bandages. Francis, you need some bandages. 
We just had, uh, you know, in the movie, that's where that, like, tender moment where, like... Um, Look, man, you're going to get through this, all right? <laughs> T- tell my wife I love her. Tell her yourself. <laughs> exactly. That, that's what just happened right there. Um, oh, yeah. It's, it's, oh, nice. That guy shot himself. Take his gun. God is undead. Ah. Uh, I get it. Oh, shoot, shoot the boomer. I keep trying to use, like, left trigger to shoot as well, because I'm used to dual wielding in, like, Halo. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just accidentally melee. I think I should have kept the shotgun. You got a construction crew going on outside. Damn. Oh, shot him in the face. We got some We got some productions going on around the office. I'm putting in, uh, putting in a stripper pole. Oh, gotta have the stripper pole. We actually, so, what? One of the, <laughs> you gonna get on this I interned at, um, at a company and we did a, a spot for, you know, like those, like, little renovate, like, those quick spots where it's like, we went to, like, the department store and got a friggin' bathtub and installed it and the guy was super helpful and, you know, like one of those? Oh, yeah, the like fake like, docu commercials? Yeah. We shot one of those and they actually did renovate these people, these, like, their living room and stuff. But then, like, in their, like, lounge or whatever, they totally had, like, this bar that was, like, mirrored, and then just a stripper pole in the middle. Yeah. And that's where, like, the kind of on-set production <laughs> office was, right? Yeah, 50 right. feet from where this... 50 feet from the pole. From where his wife leaves the snail trail. <laughs> oh! oh. Uh. It was probably stripper-sizing for, like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a great workout. It was a fire pole, all right. There were there were rescue. It was there were EMS. It, it all was right? it was a first responders antique fire pole from an old fire station that they rescued. Exactly. Were for, were the earliest stripper poles just fire poles that like they put girls on? Like, it what? was well the first. Who came, trip, who who came up with that? Who came, yeah, yeah. Like, who, I, I guess want a girl was... to dance for me, but I wanted to do it on a on an on an I beam. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 it's too, it's too square. We need something smoother. <laughs> How about a pole? You're crazy. It'll never work. <laughs> It'll never work. Just hate how those women are just dancing unencumbered up there. <laughs> Only that somebody needs something hang on in the to. way. Okay, so I want to see someone drop from the rafters. Okay. <laughs> Actually, all okay, right. Here we so go. I did. I worked on a on a music video in Magic City, which is a strip club in downtown Atlanta. And, um, I think our audience knows. Well, I don't, you may not be from Atlanta. Atlanta. I'm just, I'm just right. kidding. Our, yeah, you, uh, so yeah, it's Magic City. They had um, Black and Milds in the vending machine, which I thought was interesting. Like there's like mm-hmm. the Snickers bar, the Skittles. But, but yeah. anyway, so um, oh, she came right through. They had friction. stripper <laughs> monkey bars. They had yeah, so they had like the two poles, and then they had like stripper like monkey, monkey bars. bars that went between them that the girls could like Whoa. hang from and stuff. Oh, you're being strangled to death, Lewis. Um, yeah, and so halfway through, I was second camera on that shoot, and halfway through, they were like, man, somebody should get a, a shot from up there. So they boosted me up, and I got to hang from stripper hang monkey from bars. Stripper and monkey I'll bars. never forget the smell. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> I need a drum kit over here. Yeah, geez. Two tones and a cymbal fall off a cliff. That's your cue. Come back. <laughs> but We shouldn't have the thing yet. Right. That's why I said I need, you need a, a soundboard. Yeah. We what need, was we need to we up... need to turn Melissa into the shock jock. We came up. <laughs> oh, no, we came up with a great <laughs> morning <laughs> radio. <laughs> exactly. We came up with a great morning radio show name. What was it? It was. Um, oh, cow, 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 cow juice, juice and the nut milk. <laughs> nut milk and yeah. nut milk and the cow, cow juice. juice. <laughs> Milk in, in the, the morning, morning. in the mix, not eight, what eight? The mix, the get out juice and the cow milk. <laughs> He's too good at that. <laughs> Coming up at eight forty-five in the AM. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh. You can blast. You can <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to prank calls. You've been pranked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, me so horny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to work. I want to bang on the drum all day. <laughs> <laughs> I like this hypothetical show. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it going. 
Oh, we gotta finish the skill. No, we can't. You gotta get to the plane. Gotta get to. Oh, I just went down. I just went down. Lewis, help me up. Got you. You're gonna make you... it, man. I don't know, man. We're almost there. Don't talk like that. I see the plane on the tarmac. I need first aid bed. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah. Remember that med kit you used on me? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really. I can't really pay you back for that one. Oh man. Just need to get in the safe room. I can give Safely. you. I can give you a hot drink. Oh, there's a safe room. That's yes. Oh yeah, get in that safe room. Quickly, close the door. There you look. Hey, leave Zoe. Come on, Zoe, get in here. No, no, no. Zoe. There's no time. She's there's no so, time. She's get so in. cute and elf. I don't really like. I'm not like. Wait, was this the end? Of... No, just. Uh... Oh, loaded. No, the next one's the end. Yeah, I can see okay. a little. The runway finale. <sighs> this is where we go to the plane. That's we're scene, almost done, Melissa. Don't worry. An elf. And she's singing in the shower. You can't help but like just fall in love a little bit. Mm. Yeah, that scene is just it's iconic. It's like I have to have that scene at some point in the Christmas season. I gotta watch that. We uh, Melissa and I usually watch a couple of uh, Christmassy movies like that uh, every year. It comes around. It's a good classic. All right. I think Zoe Deschanel sings weird. She's got a very unique she's, voice. She does. Like, her voice not, changes when she sings. Yeah. It kind yes. of grows up it here. Grows a little bit. Kind of low. Sounds like, like Michael McDonald. <laughs> I like she and him. I didn't say it's bad. It's just weird that her voice. It's like her voice doesn't. Her singing voice doesn't sound like her talking voice. Yeah, like at all. Mm mm. It's got like more of an accent to it, kind of. Well, it's well, like, maybe like she, she, she she's nasally and... or something. Like yeah. she like sings through her. Sinuses. For sinuses, it's weird. It is a lot like lower pitched. Hey, I got brain salad. Oh, that plane just totally crashed right there. <laughs> oh man, that was our that was our ride. Oh, the humanity. Oh, no, that's our ride over there. That's gotta hurt. I don't care what universe you're from. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> oh my God. Get to the plane <laughs> thing. Poor Quadranero. Here comes Quadranero. Dong da da gong da. <laughs> Greatest, greatest <laughs> scene in cinema history. <laughs> the pod race. Or specifically it the announcers. really holds up, actually. Oh, it's, yeah, the pod race is... I mean, I don't think someone... anyone's ever disputed that the pod race was the best part of the of oh, the prequels. Yeah. Or the first one, at least. Duel that and the, 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 uh, oh, the Duel of the Fates. Oh, I'm all over this. All right. Gear up. I'm gonna turn on this pump. It's this make a is lot like of noise. a dream I had. Here Except go. they're all gonna come from behind. I bet. <laughs> and they're gonna come from everywhere. Actually, the best place is up on top of the fuel truck. But I want to use this. Oh, that, seems yeah, counterintuitive. <laughs> but oh, the spread on this is a little. Oh, it overheats. <laughs> yeah, it turns. Oh yeah, you gotta turn it there. Don't you? Uh, all right, uh, spray, so spray, time spray. For that. Oh. Okay, I got time for that. Time for that. Oh, I think I might have just punched you. I don't I think, think I melee. I don't know if melee does so much damage to. Oh, uh, uh, I just got boomer. Why yeah, is it? Let me. Oh, is it broken now? No, it just. Come on. It actually doesn't have like the punch that I thought it would. It's not. A, it's not a good video game minigun. Yeah, mm -hmm. it could be better. But you know what are you gonna do in the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> what do you think you? you do? I'm what, surprised it's even there. Like, what do you think the best video game minigun is? I think it's Team Fortress, the, the uh, heavy. That one's pretty good. It's pretty iconic. Yeah. Sasha! Someone touch Sasha! Sorry. I don't know, have or you ever the, seen those? The, 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 like, oh, yeah, the, those, those are all really good. Oh, I got thrown up on. You know what? Kill it with fire. Kill it all. Oh, I got Lots of waste on Boomer. And that guy's... That guy's on fire. And now I'm down. Oh. Flaming oh. zombie attack. I'm just gonna. Actually, are you alright? Yeah, I just got revived. I'm gonna. Med pack okay, up you real got quick. med. Okay. Don't mind. Hey, Macarena! <laughs> oh, it's a smoke guard. Look like he's behind the truck. Right, give me another. Oh, this is a med kit right here. Oh, no, I want the pipe. Can I climb up? Yeah, yeah this yeah, is Yeah, get, get on top. That's, a, that's the, the place. Oh, there's to be. another boomer back here. <laughs> he thought he could hide. There's the tank. He was uh, too there's fat. the tank right over there. Oh, Slither? Oh, that's a tank. Oh, yeah. That one. I'm so hungry. 
Oh god. <laughs> that movie is so uh, yeah. disgusting. Yeah, it is. Um, that was a uh, James Gunn. Yep. Uh, some oh, guy yeah. who did Guardians. Uh, mm -hmm. A friend and of the I, show. I heard a friend of the Terminus. Friend of Terminus. He came the first Terminus, Terminus yeah. ever. He was at the second one too, or no? Or did it? Or, no, no he's, yeah. Oh. 2016. He um. There was a shortage of latex after that movie because they used so much <laughs> uh, practical yeah. uh, effects and puppetry, and there... he opted to go for more for less CGI when he could. So, <coughs> and it, and it shows like they're gorgeous. The, all the aliens and the all the latex stuff is just oh yeah. Really he great. uses a, he used a combination of like puppetry and um, makeup effects to kind of create all these like creepy monstery. Things. And it really it makes a difference, and that movie like holds up. Mm -hmm. And it's very much like that campy horror movie, but it's just a it's fun. It's a fun movie. It's really what you want out of a horror movie. I like going out of a horror movie like feeling like I had a good time, not like feeling like I'm queasy <laughs> in the stomach. It's filled with existential dread. Well, that's just every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no more so than usual. <laughs> Just had it just, just the right I, I amount. Gotta, gotta have a little bit of it every day. Alright, ammo please. Alright. Why don't we just take this plane? We are, we so, gotta ga we're gassing it up. Yeah. Wait, which one of us is the pilot? We gotta make sure he doesn't die. Oh, the pilot pilot's Let's like see. Hold up inside there. So. Oh, yeah, that's who. I we're, think that's we're, who we're radio, gassing them right? up so we can get out of here. Oh no, Hunter! Let's, let's get out of here, Hunter. I was hitting B for melee. Is an idiot. Checking that. Oh, oh crap! God. It's still alive. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh god. Ah. Achievement unlocked. Pyrotechnic. No scope. <laughs> Totally in a 360 no scope, these noobs. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Gotcha, gotcha bitch. You like a assault rifle butt in the face. Uh oh. There's another tank. Tank coming up. Oh. I don't want it. Yeah, I can't believe that one double kill Joe with a dumpster. Yeah, that's pretty. We got that on pretty stream. Pretty clutch I'm, shot. I'm to gif that. Or yes. I think I yeah, can. It's I, not I had yes. a pretty good view of it on my screen. It's not yes. It's not. Oh Jesus! It came up right next to me. I didn't see it. There should be a format for just dog just, gifs that's yif. <laughs> dot yif. Just for furries. We don't. Is it dead? It's dead. Not make graphics. Sure. <laughs> Some ja okay. Japics. Graphics. Jaffical. It's Jaffical graphics. interface. It's a gra yeah, graphical, graphics. graphical interface format. Alright. Things opening so we can go now. So we gotta go fast. Right in the butt. This is lots of zombies coming. Get in. And we made it away. Alright, that's a Tuesday. Woo! We did it. Woo! We did it. We fought our way to the airport. Nothing bad ever happened to these characters ever again. It's weird they're showing the same cinema scene on two split screens. Shh. No, it's not the same. See, that one has more of the fire. Uh, yeah, it's slightly different camera angles. Actually, that one's just like wider. Edit them together. Oh, Woo. we made it. GG. GG. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Ooh, thanks for having me. I had a blast. It was good. A lot of, um, a lot of cool stories. A lot of cool. Sounds like you've worked on a lot of neat stuff. Locations, mm -hmm. the unsung heroes of yep. the production world. Yeah, thanks. Uh, shout out to all those locations people out there working mm -hmm. hard right now. Mm -hmm. uh, keep trucking along and getting those signs put up. Mm -hmm. That's like one of the hardest things, putting up those friggin' signs. Well, all right. Um, so let's got a few plugs. Well, do you end. have anything you want to promote or anything coming up that you want to talk talk about right before we go off? Or are you not, good? Not particularly. Yeah, no, NDAs on everything. Yeah, mostly <laughs> like 
just get out there and watch the movies. That's why we make them. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, uh, as always, partnered with Thea. And uh, we are, you can find us uh, every Wednesday. We're going to repost this episode at Thea.network. And uh, check it out. Thea. It's hip, new. Everyone loves it. Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Hot Atlanta? Uh, and then also Terminus dates. Terminus, June 15th to 17th. Submissions. Give us to them. Give them to us. Submission deadline for films is March 2nd. March 2nd? Get them in, Second. guys. Get them in. Yeah, so start <laughs> yeah. making them right now. Yeah, you can win stuff. You can meet celebrities. Sweet prizes. Badges are There's on sale. Parties. There's great, the price just went up. Great workshops. So, but still get it, because it's... Is it going to go up again? Yeah, when's it go up again, Melissa? Ooh. Do you know? Off the top of your head. It's going to go ahead, up uh, sometime, so buy them just, now. Yeah, get them now. within the next 15 minutes... <laughs> You'll get this free... We'll throw in Ian's potato copy peeler. of Left 4 Dead. <laughs> no, not my copy of Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Visit right. TerminusEvent.com for more details. Not sold in stores. Uh, all right. Good night, everybody. That's, that's a that's Tuesday. That's what we did. Bye. Bye. Boomer. See ya. Boomer.